Okay, folks, you've seen this video flashing across the news the last couple of days. Here we go on a special edition of Deep Dive. Is it real or is it not? Here we go. Okay, folks, today we're looking at a video taking the internet by storm these past few days. This occurred on October 7th, 2023, when a Shannon Parker and her husband were enjoying a sightseeing train ride on the Durango-Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad train. At some point, they observed what appeared to be a Bigfoot strolling along the terrain, and they captured the following video. We have changed the video format to HD so we can see the subject of the video a bit better. As you can see, the subject appears to be walking straight-legged, not typical of observed Bigfoot, and at least to me, there's a lot of bagging and sagging going on here. Also is the unusual behavior of it stopping and crouching down, apparently trying to hide behind something just a foot tall or so. Thanks to our good friend Alex Petikoff, we learned that there is a nearby company called Sasquatch Expedition Campers that uses a Bigfoot costume frequently for many of its public events. Is it a coincidence that the suit they use is the same color of the subject spotted in the train video? Or how about the same baggy arms and legs and the point on the head? So we wondered how close does the train route come to the Sasquatch Expedition Campers business. And guess what? It certainly does. Another note is if you go to the train's website, the schedules there and arrival times at different stations are clearly posted. And to show people that the train involved, it's very similar to what you see on the video. We did the same overlay with a satellite map as well, clearly showing the same route. So I decided to reach out to Sasquatch Expedition Campers and see if I could elicit an answer from them. But they decided to capitalize on the question and instead of answering me directly, they decided on doing a social media post. Now in their response, which seems kind of tongue in cheek due to the hair samples left on the uh, graphic, the post denies responsibility for the affair. Now I do find the verbiage a little suspect in the post as it says it wasn't us. However, the three word answer does not actually deny involvement, merely it wasn't them. Did they hire a guy in a suit? Did someone borrow the suit, perhaps from the train line itself? And the statement, is it truthful? Could it harm the business if it was involved in such chicanery? Then there's the comment about brilliant marketing for the train and you all need to run with it. The first user actually to like that comment was, not surprisingly, Sasquatch Expedition Campers. Regardless of the weak denial we see, we cannot dispute not one but two coincidences regarding this video. Number one, the subject appears in the film to be wearing a costume which is the same color as the camper company is using. And number two, the train route passes this company right by. A one-off I can see, a two-off, eh, not so much. But there is enough visual evidence from the video in of itself to say that this was someone in a suit and whoever it was was playing a prank on the train passengers. Therefore, this is a hoax with the intent of playing a joke on somebody. Hey folks, if you like what we do here, smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for being here and stay tuned for a special message. Till next time, keep on squatching. Hey folks, I want you to consider joining the channel as a member. It's a great way to support great big research and an honest channel out there. And it starts at only 99 cents. And already we've announced the two new shows we're putting on there. Plus you're going to get a lot more and you're going to see me uncensored as well. So anyway folks, consider it, think about it. We have three levels. The highest level is only $4 a month to become a channel sponsor. So a lot of great perks. Check it out. We'll catch you all later.